That's one thing about cinemas, you know, they don't do it for the money, they do it for the love of the job. There's a loads of skills that, 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 that we possess that are just going to be lost now. We're clearly into mid four figures, I think, in terms of the number of rejections. In late 1909, the plans were first laid for converting the building into a cinema. The Tulkney Crush. Down the front, there was no seats, so just benches. Well, at the Regal Leamington, we used to share the news with the Clifton, so we used to go over on the bike. With so. night shows, though, they wouldn't let you on the trams. No. Well. You'd see it advertised as you went past, there'd be a board that said Scandinavian lovelies in the snow and weird titles like that. They had this stupid barring thing where you couldn't play this and you couldn't play that. And it killed the cinema industry. Well, it hadn't been touched, maintenance-wise, for, I should think, half a century. I knew we were going to definitely open the cinema because people just really work hard to get this thing off the ground. I think we've gone past a period when people were content with a kind of sheep dip exercise. You know, people go through, they all get the same thing. In a way, these cinemas, they're a bit like the Taste of Difference range. It's that little bit better. It is the future. In, uh, the future. in 10 years' time, there, there won't be any film. I don't know the cost of the digital copies, but it's going to be peanuts compared with what the, the film prints cost. The thing is, you, we've all been in the job, we've loved it. Many people that can say that.